Man, after this play session, I'm just going to be like a Star Trek expert. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there is an anomaly there. What? Yeah, I knew it. Oh, I did... knew there were two. It didn't appear before. We were looking directly at it. Okay, That's right. That's fine. Why are you... Science ship. Adriana's just... doing one at the moment, so... Yeah, she's... She's doing amazingly well. I think it's a he. So it's... it's are if, we? If Adriana wants no, to be female. identified... No, it says fe female. No, female. I don't... I mean, if she wants to use the prefix he... By all means. Okay. Um, I'm no going to save that for my actually good scientist. Yeah. As screw that scientist. Special Captain DeLuca. DeLuca. Complete. Pirates! Ah! Ah! That would explain the skulls. Yeah, they're the ones in Sir 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 Oh, no, completely uninterested in civil. <laughs> why, would they, why would they be uninterested in civil discourse? Uh, I'm going to build a starbase on Mars because, mm -hmm. of course, we're colonizing that. Ooh! Ooh. The USS Franklin's sensors have locked onto the vessel. It is loaded to capacity with minerals, and its engineers... En its engines. <laughs> its engines appear dead. <laughs> its engineers are dead! An automated distress signal loops every 78 seconds. Captain Adriana DeLuca orders a channel open, and she introduces herself. A short, rotund alien appears on the view screen. Aha! Uh -huh, the alien replies. You are broadcast a distress signal. Do you need assistance? Aha! Uh -huh. The alien replies once again. What is the nation of your problem? Captain Adriana de Luca asks impatiently. We are Paclid. Our ship is the Mondor, looking for things. Things that make our ship go again. You help repair, perhaps? Um, I, I have no time for this. I think I do. They seem cool. You know, just short and rotund. Send an waiting. Yeah, we're sending it. It's going. So the Funkin's now locked in, because they're doing this kind of anomaly chain. So they can't do anything at the moment. That's cool. I mean, they're actually heading in the right direction. Uh, oh, is that just the queue? Yes, the queue. Ah, damn it. Can we see the ship? That's the question. Um, Not the anomaly one, I don't think. Ah, shame. Can't wait to see these rotund aliens, though. That's uh, definitely... I mean, I don't know if it'll show a picture of them. I mean, I know what they look like. I can show you a picture if you want. <laughs> well, let, let, let's see how it concludes. Let's see if I can find a picture. Just in case. Well, I mean, I will give you spoilers. I'm just going to find a picture of the pack. Ooh. Uh, oh. oh, the captain's joined the away team. Ooh. Captain Arjun Lucas joined the away team repairing the pack lead vessel. While aboard, she discovers that the ship's data banks contain extensive scientific data on this region of space. Given the varying encoding formats, including at least one classified United Earth protocol, the data is very likely stolen from multiple species. The captain mulls over whether to confront the pack lead about the data or abandon the repairs. Beam her back or you confront the pack lead. I still want to help them, you know? I feel like they just don't know not to keep their fingers out this, of this other... This is a pack load, by the way. Oh, okay. That's a pack load. Seems pretty messed I'll up, to be honest. I'll put a picture on screen. Um, gonna confront. Oh, God! He vaporized like... a member of the repair team! <laughs> Captain Arjun Luca accuses the Packlet captain of having stolen data from the United Earth. The no! alien laughs as he draws a disruptor pistol, vaporizing a member of the repair team. Captain DeLuca orders the USS Franklin's transporter chief to beam the rest of the repair crew back aboard. As the team are successfully beamed back, a hastily configured dampening field set in place by the Packlet prevents the return of the captain. The ca Packlet captain transmits a warning to the USS Franklin. The captain must complete the repairs to their vessel alone. Or be killed. Filthy, filthy Packlid. Well, they're not joining the Federation. <laughs> After this treatment, screw those guys. Oh dear. Will Captain DeLuca get out of this alive? Find really, out really next time. He really is becoming the John luc of our He really our is. Yep. Oh man. That's that's pretty thrilling, I've got to be honest. That's pretty thrilling. Um, Captain Angie Luca is forced to proceed alone with the repairs of the Packlid vessel. Given the precaution, pre pre precarious is the word. <laughs> Given the precarious state of the ship's warp core, direct action could prove disastrous and destroy the ship along with the captain. You can attempt to trick them or attempt to intimidate them. I mean, they just captured the captain of the Federation ship. I don't think they're going to be intimidated. Hmm. I'm going to try and trick them. Going for the trick, okay. Going for the trick. You pack Lidar. Not stupid, says the first officer to the Packlid captain on the USS Franklin's view screen. The Packlid captain pauses for a moment. No, we are not stupid, he replies. 
You have outthought and defeated us. You have our captain. We respect your strength and cunning. Yes, we are strong and cunning. The pack lid agrees. Well then, we give you all our dilithium and the contents of our databanks in exchange for our captain. Lower your shields and we will beam them over to you. The pack lid vessel lowers its shields and moments later, Captain DeLuca is safely aboard the Franklin. With no intention of playing the ransom, the USS Franklin leaves the area. It could have gone better. <laughs> that that really could have gone better. That's 50 influence though. Damn. Screw those guys. I'm going to remember them. <laughs> They're on my blacklist. Yeah, that's uh, another episode of Next Generation. Uh, I think it's not the captain, though. I think it's Geordie who gets stuck on the ship. If only I knew who Geordie was. Yeah, Geordie LaForge is the chief engineer of the USS Enterprise D. Ah, okay. So what was this anomaly? This anomaly was... Arriving at Bernard's, Bernard's, Bernard's Star B, we've detected unusual intermittent subspace readings. Cool. Interesting, interesting. The silent enemy. Ooh. That does not sound good. Anything with enemy in it. <laughs> After a day in orbit of Bernard Star B, with no progress in locating the source of the unusual subspace readings, Captain Ariana De Luca prepares to give the order to move on to the USS Franklin's next survey target. Moments later, the ship's sensors detect a surge in subspace activity, followed by the appearance of an alien ship off the port bow. Hailing the vessel proves fruitless, and after several minutes of silent confrontation, the ship warps away. Ooh. Can attempt to follow, wait for it to return, or just leave orbit. I mean, clearly they don't want to communicate with us. Um... <laughs> but it's pretty intimidating just having an alien ship that looks like that just not talk to you and then warp away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's pretty intimidating. I almost want more information. I think I do. We're gonna it's we're gonna, gonna follow. follow. It's gonna follow it. Gonna follow it. Within minutes of the aliens entering warp, the USS Franklin's sensor lock on the vessel starts to deteriorate. Five minutes more, and the ship has, has disappeared from sensors completely. Captain Ariana De Luca orders additional power to the sensors, and other subspace disturbances detected several light hours away. Arriving at the coordinates, the, lesson, the vessel appears to be attempting to widen the disturbance through an attackion emission of an unknown nature. However, as the USS Franklin draws nearer, the emissions are cut. The rest of the vessel raises its shields and powers up what appear to be its weapon system. <laughs> I mean, do I? I don't have any weapons. <laughs> My science ships have no weapons, do they? So. Well, they have some. They've got six. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, a huge amount. Hail them. The USS Franklin's communication officer repeats on all frequency hail to the alien vessel. The bridge crew await response in tense silence. Sometimes. With only the hum of the ship's engines in the background. Hmm. An alert chimes. The aliens have returned the hail. A strange, almost fungal form appears on the view screen, and a series of clicks, low moans, are heard through the communication system. I'm Captain Ariana DeLuca of the USS Franklin, the captain begins, before detailing the ship's mission in the system. With every new sound from the alien, the USS Franklin's universal translator starts to construct a model of its language, until at last, broken phrases are overlaid followed by full sentences. A dialogue has begun. The alien describes itself as Elachi, and says it is on a mission for its overlord that it cannot fail. Its orders were not to interfere with other species, but our hails piqued its curiosity. Ten minutes of conversation later, it announces it is time for it to depart, and regrets how unlikely it is to ever meet with Captain Ariana De Luca again. The Xenology Department eagerly look forward to reviewing the data gathered during this encounter. Acknowledged. That was interesting. Wow, I actually expected that to go terribly. I thought they just wouldn't answer our hails and kill us. I can't say I remember this episode. Um, I remember Enterprise episodes where they chase some ships, but it usually doesn't end very well. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, I expected that not to end well, but yeah, yeah. cool. Okay, not complaining then. Um, well, let's send Ariana back to work. Um... I think that was the last anomaly that we n knew of, so I guess just automatic exploration for you. Um, in the meantime, our plan is to terraform Mars, but that costs a lot of minerals, so yeah, pretty much just waiting for stuff to happen at this point. Oh, there's an anomaly! Yay! Yay! We found something! Ariana, cancel all previous da -da -da. orders. 
Da, da, da. Research that anomaly. Go, Captain DeLuca. We be the king. Oh God, we can do it. Yes. Verteron away, away, <laughs> away, <laughs> away, Verterons, away. <laughs> okay, getting that down. And now we go back to the anomaly. What was it? Click on it. Um, sensors have detected an object of inter indeterminate size in orbit of AX Microscopi two three. Seems cool. Microscopi three. I mean, I indeterminate read. is a pretty. I feel like they could be more accurate, it, even it if it could be this big, it could be this big. Yeah, it yeah. Size this entire room. I'd rather they said roughly a small object. Roughly a car. Roughly a car. <laughs> I actually, I don't want them to say that. <laughs> That's new aliens. Etta aliens. Let's investigate them. Yep. Go into the situation. Oh, oh, oh! Failed it. After hours of scanning Maybe. the surrounding system, no sign of the source of the signal could be detected. Gained nothing, did nothing. Okay, um, so Eta aliens, let's research those. Okay, um, construction no, ship, that seems like a good thing to do. Ooh! Well, uh, if you click change scientists, you can change it to DeLuca, which will reduce the fail risk. Wow, you can do that. Yeah. Research. Oh, I was about to read it. <laughs> Nah. <laughs> nah, mate. Nah. Where, Where was that? Like this? When the heck was that? So click on the notification, and then right at the top there. So it's in the Cirrus system. Cirrus system. There you go. By chance, we stumbled upon a faint alien signal during the survey of this moon. The source appears to be a small object in orbit. The signal contains no message. Could it be a distress transponder? Question mark. Very big question mark. Could it be? Very question mark. Pretty excited for that. Very excited. Oh, so it's right in that click system. On, so click on your. So go back out. Yep. Right click. Uh, so click on the construction ship. So, oh, just uh, right click. Go back out. <laughs> right click on Sol. Uh, right. And then build mining stations. Kill. Build all the mining stations. Oh my word! Where did all our power go? <laughs> Where did all our power go? Oh. Uh, did the Vertor run array finish or something? Or is it just sinking all of our power? Yeah. It has. Oh, it did. It's yeah, that's why. Well, we've got a good bank. We've got 1,300. That's that's good. Mm. Um. So it looks like Penal Colony is a star of a path. Cultural unity. That seems good. I guess I'll go with that. And it's cheap as well. Oh, that's a vanilla uh, Stellaris one about yeah. being a mummified pirate. Pilot. What did I say? Pirate. pirate. I mean, it could be a mummified <laughs> pirate. Who knows? Yar, I be a space pirate. I, I be a mummy. <laughs> I'm twice <No>. as scary. <laughs> I'm both a pirate, which is also a mummy, which is also a pirate, which is also a mummy. He was your bra. <laughs> Arr. 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 Survey. Arboretum. Oh, we are receiving a weak signal from the surface of this moon. The source appears to be some kind of tracking beacon. Oh, he can do that himself. He's he can do that. Three. There we go. Go for it, Hamza. Interstellar Academy. Ooh, the, the starting of Starfleet. Oh, we've got to do that then. That sounds just sick. We need to build it in San Francisco. Is that where... That's where Starfleet headquarters is. Why there? What about all the earthquakes, man? Well, I mean, by... The <laughs> late 20, yeah, yeah. Where you go? 20 seconds Come century. On, I assume they fixed all of those. Oh, God! Oh, my Jesus! Oh, my word. Ah! Uh -huh. Soul monitoring stations have detected an alien probe on a direct course for Earth. All attempts to hail the probe have been met oh. with silence, <laughs> and as such, we must presume that the vessel is hostile. What could be happening? Long. <laughs> oh, God! It's, oh, it's really got a skull! <laughs> It's Deploy gonna... the fleet! What fleet? We've got 205 <laughs> power! That's a skull! Oh look, there's something else happening at the same time! Uh... Uh, this is all about the terraforming, so it's started now. Uh, yeah. Um... So you just put somebody there. There's somebody already there. It's just, yeah, click it. Let's yeah, go. yeah, good. Okay, um, fleet? Uh, question drop, mark? drop the speed down to normal. <laughs> it's so fast! Oh, it's our fleet. It's already there, okay. Fernanda Martin must. Is this. Defender! Deploy the fleet! Uh, yeah, survey markers, cool. Yeah, great, cool. Thank, great, <laughs> yep. 
Um. Okay. This is. This Start is panicking, everyone. Oh, I can make more ships yeah, quick. <laughs> I know. I, I should have built more, man. I should have built. Can more. you build them fast enough? <laughs> no. We've only got enough minerals for like two. I really cannot. Sixty days. Will the probe breach in sixty days? This is terrifying. Look <laughs> at that. How much more enigmatic can you be? It's like some kind of weird sphere. I mean, I wish these bits were actually spinning as they maybe should be. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> I, fe I fear for my fleet, I've got to be honest. Uh, wait for it. Engaging enemy fleet. Uh, Firing pulse face cannons. Do it. Seem to be having minimal effect. Oh, there's, oh, there's, there's a, a missile. A missile thing. A missile. So click on the battle. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, there, yeah we there we go. So, it looks like the probe <laughs> isn't firing back. Ooh, okay. Interesting, interesting. Can I cancel an attack order? Complete. No. Ah, oh, fuck. Star Wars is a stupid level. Construction complete. Well, it's Once you engaged, it's retreat or nothing. It's, it's not at risk of, of dying or anything, so... Uh... How close are we getting to uh, the, the Mars colony? No, the Mars... Yeah, our Vigil's almost done. I mean, uh, in from probe to... Probe to so that. So there's the asteroid belt. There's Mars. Yep. Alvajol has finished. Yeah. Let's just quickly do this whilst we wait for that probe <laughs> to do whatever it's doing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it won't be important. Um. You're doing a decent amount of damage. Actually. I am surprised, Completely. given that it's a skull. I'm very surprised. Um, I guess I just commit to the path of trying to kill it. My my frigates are pretty expensive. Go attack, murder, death, kill. Uh, Interstellar Academy casually do this whilst they try and take down that probe. Um, Just watch in the background. It's uh, about a third of its health is gone. That's actually surprisingly good. Um, so what's what does this do? Growth speed. That's really good. That's really good. Given that we've just got a new colony. Um, let's build a star base if we can. No, we cannot. It's pretty expensive, turns out. Uh, one more month and we could do. The Mars Starbase is engaged. Yeah, shoot it. That, whoa, 999 firepower from the Mars yeah, Starbase. Star star uh, also, that looks sick. Yeah, the Starfleet Starbase. That is amazing. Go and fire a shot. <laughs> it's probably out of range of it now. Ah, <laughs> good point, good, good point. It's almost down, oh my god. I did not think we'd do anything to it. I thought this I'm was not the. Lie, I'm somewhat surprised at how much damage you've done to it. I, I'm surprised. <laughs> hmm. Curious. Okay, so starport on this thing. There we go. Expand the fleet. Literally cannot see it's anything. It's in the sun. <laughs> it's in the sun. Nearly there. Oh. Oh. We have successfully prevented the alien probe from entering Earth orbit. Preliminary scans of the wreckage indicate the probe carried within it a singular, single-use condensed energy weapon, which, had it fired, would have been capable of destroying large re a large region of the Earth's surface. Prime Minister Nathan Samuels' administration has planned a series of celebrations to honour the men and women of Starfleet who averted this tragedy. The question now remains, who sent this weapon of mass destruction? Why would they do that? What monsters would send an orb of death to my planet? Well, I can tell you that uh, in the uh, in Enterprise, the series, yep. they did not stop the probe. <laughs> really? Yeah. Just Earth gets so smashed. So you have not. You have gone off book here. Oh, the first time. Yeah, the probe fires across India, I think, and about uh, a billion people are killed. Or something ridiculous. A casual billion. Yeah. Wow. That's that's pretty, pretty intense. Yeah, yeah I was. Uh, okay, there we go. There you go. 